welcome to my work bag and what's inside. You know what's inside? Everything's inside. I go through my Louis Vuitton Neo Noé. Inside my work bag, we have my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. So this one is full of lip glosses. I feel like I literally have a thousand of them in here. It's got nice red interior. This pocket never gets used for anything. Hair ties, nail files, time to get a new nail file. These ones are so worn out. And lots and lots of lip glosses. Now I'll show you a couple that I love. This one I'm wearing today is my Napoleon Perdis. Um, it's just a clear lacquer. Wearing it today. I'm also wearing it with this Revlon Color Stay in blush color. I love my pore pore ointment. I use this just as like a normal lip gloss when I'm at home. And what else? I've got my Chanel lip glosses in here. I really like these ones because these are like a color stay. Soft candy color. Uh, yeah. So you put this on, it dries, and then you put the gloss on the other side and it stays on really well. I've got woman's business in here. This is another Chanel one that I have. This color is really nice too. Coral Dream. Beautiful color. So yeah, that's my cosmetic pouch. I got it in this color because I don't want any watermarking on it. So it's nice and dark because it is for cosmetics. And you know, it's gonna be in the bathroom near the water. I didn't want any issues or any um, risk of watermarking on this one. Now, next, what's next in my bag? Next thing to pull out is my wallet. So this one is the Louis Vuitton 2020 Christmas Animation um, Victorine wallet. I bought it in September, 2020. It uh, retailed then for 860, so it's a little bit more for the Christmas animation ones than it is for the normal ones. Um, beautiful bright fuchsia inside. I haven't had it hot stamped or anything. I used to always get my items hot stamped, but now, you know, because I go through items and then I sell them, it's kind of, I feel like it's better if I don't have them hot stamped just for resale value. If they do have a letter in there, obviously it's harder to sell. Um, yeah, so this is my wallet. Beautiful Christmas animation. Yeah, so I've had it since September 2020 um, and it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect condition. There is no glazing cracks, nothing, you know, no issues with it at all. So yeah, awesome wallet, really high quality wallet. If you're looking for um, one that you don't really need to baby. Next, I have my toiletry 15 in here. Now, this is what I mean about the cosmetic pouch, how I bought brown because of the watermarking. No watermarks, watermark. So the watermarking absolutely does my head in. I try and avoid buying Louis Vuitton items with this leather because I just, I can't keep them from getting stained. Like I spray it with the um, leather protecting spray, but you know, I have kids. This was literally sitting on the bench. My son turned on the tap too hard and splashed it. And then it's got a watermark that's permanent. So I really, Personally, I try to avoid buying the leather items, but obviously the toiletry only comes with the leather on it. So this one, soothers, medication, steroid cream, you know, I'm a nurse, so I have everything in here, Panadol, Nurofen, you know, antihistamines, anything that could possibly happen, band-aids, like everything. See, it's packed to the brim with medication and all sorts of things in here. So I like to always carry that with me. Now, oh, <laughs> my compression work sucks. Yes, I am a nurse. I do really long hours standing on my feet. So I always have my two times you compression socks in my bag. I have these in multiple different colors. Um, I wear them every day that I work. I wear them with Crocs, which are so unfashionable, but that's what I wear. I work in theater, you know, plastic shoes, compression socks. Anyone that's a nurse will understand this. Next, hair clips. Hair clips, bobby pins, and hair ties just sort of float around the bottom. Pin. I always have like a thousand pins in here. I cleaned this bag out actually recently. And hold up. Let me show you how many pins I had. Are you ready? This is how many pins I had in this bag before I cleaned it out. Sitting in the middle pocket. Now, nurses are always pen thieves, but I didn't realize I was this much of a pen thief. Like, I feel like every time I was at the hospital and they just had like stationary cupboard, I'd be like, oh, I need a new pen. So now I have 50,000 of them. Next thing in my Neono work bag is masks. 
multiple masks because of, you know, the day we live in at the moment in Australia, we're in and out of lockdowns constantly, being ordered to wear masks, being ordered not to wear masks. So I just always have a few of them in here in case, you know, you're in a sticky situation, you don't have a mask. I got you. I got one for you. Next thing, Louis Vuitton round coin purse. Now I actually just looked on the wallet and I don't think this monogram one is actually available anymore. So I've had this one for years. I don't think I've got any coins in it at the moment because my son's just been doing jobs for pocket money. So I'm fresh out, but this usually has coins in it. Now I have had this for years and it is perfect. Very nice, even patina. I mean, this is one of their like best items, I reckon. It just doesn't show wear. So handy. Even like when you're on holidays, you can like put your rings and stuff in here even. It's really, really handy, really good. Really glad I bought one. I bought this one pre-owned because I couldn't find a new one. I couldn't get a new one in the store. So yeah, I've noticed this monogram one is no longer available, but they do have, let me have a look, round coin purse. They have ones in other prints for uh, 545. They retail for, for that particular one that was on the website. I reckon I only paid about 300 for this, maybe 250 when I bought it pre-owned years ago in perfect condition. So if you can pick one up pre-owned, that's awesome. Um, my car key, my, now this I have had forever. It's the Louis Vuitton six key. It's quite dirty inside, but the color is poppy. So it's this beautiful like coral color. And I bought this just before um, they were no longer making this color. I did get a B in the corner. Oh, it's filthy. I need to clean it. But I mean, keys rattling around always just, it just gets dirty all the time. So, I mean, I clean this like once a year and then it just stays like that. So my beautiful B initial on the corner there. This thing is probably one of the best things that they've made as well. This key holder is awesome. I've had it forever. I've had it reglazed a couple of times. But, I mean, it does wear off quite a bit on the corners. Bottom not so bad. But, I mean, I barely look after it. It just gets chucked in my bag. It's chucked everywhere. And it's perfect. I've also had the button redone a couple of years ago. So, yeah. I mean, I feel like I've had this one forever. I see that they retail now for $355. I, um, I actually found the receipt for this the other day. Oh, I've written down. I have found the receipt. 2016 I bought this, so that is a really long time ago. I paid $295 and the color is poppy. So $295 in 2016 and 355 now. So that has barely gone up over time. This piece is awesome. If you don't have one and you have a lot of keys, you should definitely invest in one. Now, I, I mean, I don't use it much now. I have keys to, you know, family's house and stuff in here. I come and go through my garage, so I don't really ever use a key, but I always have it with me for my house keys anyway, if for some reason I can't get into the garage. Now, next, what else is in here? Hand sanitizer, because you need it at the moment. I mean, you always need it. You always need clean hands, but especially at the moment. And then I have my Louis Vuitton Sunny. So I just had to look up on the website to see what these ones are actually called, because I couldn't remember. So... These ones are called the clockwise sunglasses. They have, can you, I don't know if you can see, because I've got the light on, the monogram lens. Maybe if I turn the light off, you might be able to see them better. Okay, so I've turned my light off, so you might be able to see better. But this has the monogram mirrored lens on these. Louis Vuitton on the side. These sunnies are actually men's sunnies. Hang on, I'll turn the light back on. What a difference that makes. So these are actually in the men's collection. Well, they've got a nice little LV here as well. These are men's sunglasses. But at the time, I wanted ones with the Louis Vuitton lenses, with the mirrored lenses, and there just wasn't that much available in women's, so I just ended up buying the men's. So they don't look like anything when you look through them. You can't see the monogram in them. At first, I did buy a different pair. I bought ones like this that had like an animal print, which they no longer make, and um, it had the studs. I don't know what they're called, but I mean, they're pretty well known for these sunglasses. They have like the individual studs all the way around. And when I was driving, out the corner of my eyes, I could see the dots and it absolutely did my head in. So 
and even I went outside in the park and then I could see the dots like all around, you know, around my eyes. And I was like, I can't deal. I feel like I'm distracted. I feel like I can't drive properly because I can see all these things outside of my eyes. So I took them back and exchanged them for this. Ta-da! Do you like them? I mean, I've had these for years. I'm very careful not to scratch them because of the mirrored lens. I have my pouch that they come in and they live in there. They're very hard wearing sunnies though. I mean, I don't absolutely baby them and I've never had a scratch on them and I've had these for probably about three years now. So if you're looking to invest in Louis Vuitton sunnies with the mirrored lens, they look awesome. They look really cool outside in the sun and I mean, they're totally worth the money. So how much are they? Clockwise sunglasses, these ones are called. Men's collection. So if you're looking for them, you need to go into the men's sunglasses. 980 in the gold monogram lens. Now, um, a few years ago, I think from memory, I paid 880. So they've gone up about $100 over the years, which is fine. Pretty um, reasonable for a pair of Louis Vuitton sunnies, I think. Remind everyone to please subscribe to my channel. I am a small YouTuber, small channel, and your subscriptions and your um, clicking like, just like, leaving me a comment, um, making sure you click on the bell so you're aware when I upload new videos, really helps to support me as a content creator and support my channel. You know, I need um, motivation to keep going. I need to know, I need feedback. I need to know if you're enjoying the videos. So please give me feedback. Please subscribe to my channel. I really, um, I really appreciate all of your support. Everyone that's subscribed so far, thank you for coming back. And those new people watching my videos, I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, I always reply to all of my comments. So if you leave me a comment, I will reply to you. So yeah, let's get back into it. Just quickly, I want to show you the bag liner that I have. So this is the bag liner. Oh, it's a bit dirty. It's from KD Australia. That's where I get all my bag liners from because um, they just seem to be like a really awesome fit. This one has a few different pockets. Like I've got work car park card and stuff and my pen in there. Got like heaps of little card pockets that I don't really use that much. Same on the other side. It's a two piece. So yeah, this bag liner is awesome. It's really thick felt and it just holds the structure of the bag really nicely, I think. So if you're looking for a bag liner for your Neo Nui, I suggest you have a look at KD because it's it's a pretty cool bag liner and it fits really nicely. I just thought I would turn the camera around so you can get some mod shots of how big it actually is. It's a big bag. So that's that. I never ever do it up. I just all have it hanging out. Have it hanging out. So yeah, favorite work bag. There you go. I would show you quickly what I'm um, wearing today, my jewelry. So I've got my engagement ring on. I have a link to this video I will put up here. I have just a little ring on here that has a tiny black diamond and a tiny white diamond, very thin little ring. I have my Bulgari pave diamond and black onyx um, cuff on. I have done a video on this piece as well on my Bulgari jewelry collection. So I will link that as well up here if you want to check out that video. What else am I wearing? Oh yeah, my Bulgari earrings in white mother of pearl, both rose gold, both same collection. So yeah, click the link to check out that video because that's a really um, nice video talking all about my Bulgari jewelry. So as ever, thank you for joining me today. I upload a new video every weekend. So make sure you check back for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Have a great day.